It is very cute. Okay. Hey guys, this is Sushan once again uh, wishing you a happy morning and happy evening everyone. Welcome to this brand new episode 4th of Alight Motion. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this wonderful spin bouncy text animation inside Alight Motion. I had so much fun while creating this text animation. I hope you love this video and tutorial. Uh, let's begin with the screen recording. Let me turn on my phone. Whether you have iPhone or iPad, all the procedures will be same. Whether you have Android phone, then also the procedures will be same. Why I keep saying this? Some Android users misunderstood that it is made for iOS. Yes, it is also for the Android users. All the procedures are same. If you have any difficulties, you can comment below. I can help you. If you want XML file of this project, you can give the like to the video and comment below and you can email on switch 2 i at the red gmail.com and i will happily share the xml file of this project okay so let's start creating the project tab on this plus and over here we are going to type the project name spin bouncy bouncy text animation okay the project resolution will be 4k frame rate will be 30 and background will be black like this now tab on this plus icon and we are going to create the text like this and type any name spin bouncy B -O -U -N -C, right? bouncy and put this text in the middle like this change the font if you want it i am going to select this highlight font you can check my video how to install custom font inside ios using iphone app now change the text size like this and change the color like this make it like this okay okay it's perfect now select the clip and drag till two seconds like this the duration will be uh, of two seconds okay and type on effect we are going to choose bend b e n d this and select standard settings And over here, we are going to make change in each and every parameters. And in the origin, we are going to select left. Okay. Move the player head till 0, 0. We are going to make changes in angle parameter first. Tab on angle. Create the first keyframe. Move player head till last at the end of the clip. Create second keyframe. And move to the first keyframe again like this and in the angle parameter right now it is zero zero degree we are going to put the value of 60 60 see let's play it okay so we have a band effect over here while angle parameter is selected, move the play head till one second like this. Tab on easing and we are going to select elastic curve preset like this. And in that we are going to select second elastic option. And over here we are going to make changes. Over here you can see this yellow parameter like this dotted lines. And here we have the 90 degree handle in yellow color. We are going to make changes in that. First, we are going to make change in this horizontal line, horizontal dotted line, like this. And we are going to make five waves, like this. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके लेट मी काउंट इट अगेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके लेट मी प्ले इट नाउ वंडरफुल ओके नाउ गो बैक अगेन नाउ मूव टू स्टार्ट पैरामीटर लाइक दिस एंड मेक चेंज टिल फिफ्टी ओके इट विल बी फिफ्टी परसेंट लाइक दिस लेट्स सी नाउ इट्स मूविंग येस परफेक्ट इट इज इन द स्टार्ट पैरामीटर बिलो देयर इज अ स्मॉल पैरामीटर ऑफ बिफोर स्टार्ट इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट bend to opposite side so it will start animating from the both the sides see it is very cute <laughs> okay now scroll down in the advanced setting we are going to make change in tune head tab on tune head right now it is 75 make it 100 in the tune tail it will be 25% okay that much we have to do it for creating this bounciness okay now minimize this and we are going to add a motion blur and what here your motion blur select standard settings in the tune parameter we are going to make change in 0.30 okay and the position will be turn on like this scale will be on angle will be on okay so it will add a very smooth motion blur it will apply automatically there is no need of key framing now minimize this let's play our animation wow it's wonderful okay now we are going to add more animation to this that is rotate and scale for that select the text animation tab on this move and transform select this rotate parameter we are going to repeat the same procedure for the keyframing tab on this first keyframe move to the second keyframe at the end of the clip now move to the first keyframe it will be 90 degree like this now we are going to move the play head till one second to put the easing tab on easing tab on elastic curve like this and select second option and move this first horizontal line like this okay and we are going to create a a little two waves over here okay see and play it wonderful we don't need a more waviness or wobble uh, over here will in little bit only two waves we have produced this is one and this is second okay let's play it again wonderful now go back and we are going to make change in the scale parameter repeat the same procedure go to first keyframe create a second keyframe go to first keyframe and scale down to 0 like this move play head till one second tab on easing over here we are going to use ease out like this okay let's play it wonderful i hope you love this very cute little animation you can produce so many new things inside a light motion i just love this app okay you can make changes you can create a duplicate copy of it like this hide this bottom layer select this duplicate layer tab on edit you can type anything you want like i'm typing over here like and like like subscribe and subscribe
scribe okay you can okay and let's play it okay i hope you love this video then give a big thumbs up and share with your friends at the last i will show you the project that i have created on the ipad all the settings are the same i found creating the project on ipad it's little easy because of the pencil thank you very much for watching this video see you soon in the new amazing video till then take care stay safe bye bye